Hello everyone, welcome to HJ Programming Solutions. So till now we have seen how to create a bean, then how to inject the properties of that bean by using setter based injection and constructor based injection. And after that we have seen what is dependency injection and how we can inject a bean inside another bean. Okay. So now in today's video we are going to see what is auto wiring and what are the different modes of the auto wiring okay so let's start with the video okay so here i have copied same uh, our previous project just renamed with the spring session auto wiring okay so here uh, what we did here we have created this person class okay inside this person class we have the dependency of this loan okay and this loan is of type interface okay so this loan is a interface which have one method emi and here this car loan and the home loan these two classes are implementing this loan interface and they are providing the implementation for this emi method okay then in this config.xml file if we open the config.xml file here what we did here we have created one bean person okay and then we have created another two beans first one is car loan and then the home loan bean okay then here as person class is having the dependency of uh, the loan here this person is having dependency of this loan so that's why inside this config.xml file we have injected this dependency manually writing property name loan and here to inject the bean inside another bean because this car loan is type of this car loan so this is one object which we are injecting inside this person okay so for that we have used this ref tag and here we have provided this id of this car loan okay so till uh, this we have covered in our last video so now today we are going to see instead of injecting these properties manually okay how we can assign this task to spring instead of doing this uh, by our own we can ask spring to do this thing for us okay so let's see how we can do this okay so now as we don't want to write this manually we can remove this okay and we can save the program and if we run this what we will be getting now a null pointer exception because the person class here is having this loan as a dependency but we have not injected it okay so that's why we are getting here null pointer exception right now let's uh, go to our config.xml file first uh, first let's uh, uh, remove or make this uh, simpler so i will just remove this car loan class okay and also i will uh, just delete the loan interface we will just keep one uh, class here just for the simplicity okay and to this home loan let's give a uh, name refactor rename as a loan okay now if we go inside this loan we have to just remove this implement thing okay and also the override because now we are not implementing the interface so override annotation should be removed okay now i just uh, make this application very simple where we just have one person class okay even we can remove the employee we are not using this anymore so let's remove this okay so now we just have one person class uh, this person is dependent uh, have the dependency of this loan class and this loan class is having one method emi okay inside this config also we can uh, remove this car loan as we don't require this okay and now we have two bins only one is person and another is home loan okay now 
we have to inject this home loan dependency which is there in the person class automatically or spring should take care of that but how spring will uh, do that task so for that we have one more attribute auto wire okay so just we have to write auto wire and here if we do control space see here these are the types or uh, modes of the auto wiring okay so we have by name by type constructor and no okay no means there will not be any auto wiring okay so if we write here no and save and if we run the application so here what is the exception we are getting class not found exception home loan okay inside this config.xml okay here uh, we have to change the name of the class right so let's make it as a loan save and run so here we will get null pointer exception because even if here we have written um, in the config.xml file even if here we have written auto wire we have set the mode of the auto wire as a no okay so here we have different types of mode so let's try first one by name okay uh, let me minimize this okay now here what it means by auto wiring so auto wiring means instead of injecting uh, the uh, property means instead of uh, injecting the properties by our own we are giving this task to the spring and spring will do the injection of the properties automatically for us okay how it will do so here we have written auto wire and we have set here the mode as a by name okay so what will happen it will get to know that this person class is having some dependencies and which need to be injected by spring okay so developer will not take care of this so here as we have mentioned by name it will go to the person dot java and it will see which dependency this person class is having the loan dependency okay now in this config.xml file it will check that is there any bin whose id is matching with this dependency here we have dependency loan and in this config.xml file do we have any bin with id loan no right so it will not get any bin with id no uh, id loan so that's why it will not inject the dependency loan so that's why if we save and run the application still we will get null pointer exception because here the name of the uh, dependency and the id of this bin is not matching okay so now if we make it loan okay now this id and the dependency which this person class is having is matching so that's why if we run the application now here we will not get null pointer exception so here we are getting home loan emi okay so it will in this person class this loan dependency is there and here we have the show emi method from this method we are calling the method which is there in the home uh, home loan class or this loan class okay so if we go to our app.java here we have created this person bean okay by using this get bean we got the person bean and from this person bean we have called the show emi method and from the show emi method we have called the emi method which is there in the loan class okay so this way we can do the auto wiring by using by name mode okay now let's suppose here your bean id so let's suppose your bean id is home loan okay and you don't want to change the bean id so how you can achieve the auto wiring now if we save this we will be getting null pointer exception right because 
here the name of the um, dependency and the id is not matching now what we can do we can use another mode of the auto wiring which mode we have by type okay so this by type mode what it will do now here it will not check for the bin uh, id means this uh, id name or here in the person or java what dependency we have it will not check this name is matching with this bean id or not so what it will check it will check that is there the type of is there any bean whose type and the dependency type here we have this dependency and the type of dependency is loan so it will check in this config.xml file is there any bin whose type is matching with the type which dependency is having okay so here the type is loan inside this person dot java the type of this loan dependency is also loan so type is match and then if we run this application again we will get home loan emi okay so now in this config.xml i hope you are understanding that if we are writing here by name it will check for the name okay so it will check is this name the dependency name is matching with this bean id name okay but when we are mentioning here by type it will check for the type instead of a name okay so here it will check is the type of this bean is matching with the type of this dependency which person class is having okay so this way we can do the auto wiring by using by type okay now let's understand we have one more mode which is constructor okay now if we are writing here constructor and run the application what we are getting null pointer exception means the properties or the dependency is not injected by spring so why it is not injected if we go to our person dot java when we are mentioning here constructor it will check that if there is any constructor in this person class which is having this loan as a parameter or argument but in this whole person class we don't have any constructor which have the loan as a parameter that's why it is not able to inject the dependency right so what we have to do here we have to create the parameterized constructor which has this loan as a argument so let's create here generate constructor using field and generate okay so here this person with parameter loan constructor is created and now here just write person class constructor with parameter loan is called okay so now here we have uh, mentioned the mode as a constructor for this auto wire so it will go in the person dot java class and it will see is there any constructor which having this loan as a parameter so this is matching so it will inject this loan dependency okay so let's save this and run see here we are getting person class constructor with parameter loan is called and then we are getting home loan emi which is there in that emi method which we have written in this loan class right so this way we can do the auto wire by using constructor by type and by name okay